that a lot of people are really anticipating this video because I have here the Ryla pack and inside is the new packing cases that they just came out with. I actually pre-ordered this Ryla pack and I thought it was just going to be the exact same um, as the previous one, but there is one difference that I have found. This grab handle is a little bit different. It used to be more of like a rolled handle and it was a little bit taller. This is flatter. It looks like just a piece of the like nice full leather. I do like that it's shorter so it doesn't like stick up so high off the bag. Still feels really nice and sturdy, still comfortable. So no complaints about that change. I really like it. I've never had this the newer version in gray before I've only had it in black and it's really really beautiful I love the gray with the gold hardware and again the Ryla pack um, material that they use I just love it I just love this full leather material it's really like soft and squishy I like the texture of it I think I'm more of like a smooth leather person um, but again still really beautiful it says Ryla right there fits my water bottle. Um, I'll just kind of walk you through this and showcase to you the new packing cases that are on the inside. I love with the Ryla pack that you can fit larger water bottles here, but then there's this little piece of elastic that allows the pocket to go back in and kind of lay flat against the bag. So you don't have like big water bottle pockets sticking off of the bag. Um, on this side, I do have my phone. And then in the front, you get this pretty nice big pocket. There are no like organizational pockets on the inside of here. It's just kind of a big space for what I would say is like my mommy things. So I have my headphones in here. I have a little Jujube wallet. My keys are down there. My chapstick, my lip gloss, compact gum. And that's everything that was inside of that pocket. The zippers are still really nice and smooth. I still like the pretty logo they have there at the end of the zipper. On the back side here, these straps are so, so comfortable. A lot of full leather bags decide to do just like a seat belt strap, so I'm really happy that Ryla Pack decided to do these straps that are, it's covered in the full leather, but it's like a squishy padded backpack strap, which is awesome. I love that it has these studs down here. And then I do like when bags don't have a tail here, that it just adjusts here and there isn't a tail kind of flopping around at the bottom. You do have a long zippered pocket in the back here. This is actually a felt lined pocket and um, so it's a good place for like a tablet but in here I'm just keeping a notebook for myself. I did want to mention that you do have four feet on the bottom which is really great especially with this light color um, putting it on the ground and everything you want to keep it looking nice. Moving on to the inside here's what it looks like. You have two pockets here on like the front wall and right here I just have my wipes. I have some different um, pens, Sharpie, Tide to Go pen in that pocket. Those fit great there. And then let's move on to the middle section. Just kind of sitting here at the top, I have the smallest piece from the new Ryla pack. It does, they all have the little D-ring here on the side. They all say Ryla in gold has the same gold hardware there for the zipper pull and the zippers are really, really nice and smooth. So I love that. I love the clear window here. And then on the inside, it's that same um, kind of tannish material that they use on the inside of all of their bags. It's the same material that they use on the outside of all their bags on the back, which is really, really like nice and smooth and soft. And I think this is great because it kind of slides in and out of the bag easier because it is that nice smooth texture. But I love the size of this pouch. It fits all of my little med needs and mommy needs perfectly. So that is the small piece. Then sitting here right in the front, this is the largest piece. You can see a size five diaper fits to about here and then you have even more space. So you can use this for lots of different things. Right now, obviously I'm just using it for all my diapering needs. You could use this for extra clothes. Maybe if you have a lot of snacks that you need that day, this would be an awesome snack bag. If you need busy things for the kids, like coloring books and all of that stuff, that would fit in this one great. Um, same kind of deal, has the Ryla Pack logo. Really, really smooth zipper here. And then the last piece that I have just sitting right there, and I have the strap attached to this one because I do grab for my snacks most often. So I like to have this to kind of pull it in and out of the bag. But I'm using this right now for a snack bag. Let me hold up the small piece for you really quick on the corner there. So you can see how much bigger this one is than this one. And then I will hold up the large piece for you. And that's about how much bigger the large piece is 
from the medium one. So again, really awesome pouch. You can use these for lots of different things. It's fun to play with it and see what will fit and what works best for you in your packing style. Moving on to the rest of the bag, you do have two insulated bottle pockets here, which I don't really need. So I'm not really utilizing those at this time. I think that will be nice when we do have another baby so that I can keep bottles in here. You do have another little elasticated pocket right there on the side and right there I just have some crayons. And then I love that they have the really pretty plated Rylapak logo there on the back. And inside here is where I am keeping some busy stuff. I have some boogie boards, some letters for my son to work on, and then also a itsy ritzy snack bag, but in here I'm keeping some receipts and my checkbook. I know some of you might be interested in the sizing difference between the Lily Jade packing cases and the Ryla Pack ones, just because they are a little bit similar um, with the clear front. So right off the bat, I do like the material on the Rylo Pack one a little better. I think it's because it is that like faux leather and it just feels like really nice and high end. I of course love my Lily Jade ones and they're really nice and durable, but they're more of like a canvasy kind of material. And the sizing is different. So this is the large piece from both of the sets. And as you can see here, I'm gonna put the zippers the same. The Lily Jade one is just a tad bit bigger there on the bottom, but it's definitely wider. Here are both the medium pieces. Ryla on top there. Again, the Lily Jade one is a little bit bigger both ways. So it has some space here on the bottom and on the side. Um, I do want to mention the zipper pulls are different on the front on the top as well. The Lily Jade has this kind of knotted material pull. The Ryla Pack has the actual metal zipper pull that matches all of their bags. And then lastly, here is the small pieces from both of the sets. Again, the Lily Jade, you definitely have more room and more space. So if you are needing your cases to be bigger, then I would say go with the Lily Jade for sure. Um, but if you're trying to keep things a little more compact, then I think the Ryla would work just fine. Just so you can see the difference really quickly one more time. That's the large, the medium, and the small, in case you were wondering what the difference is between the two. Okay, friends, hopefully that was helpful. I really like these cases. I think they're awesome, and I don't have any like really fancy black ones yet, so I love the black with the gold. It looks really classy, and I feel like I would use this for like trips and travel. Um, besides just being cute accessories in my diaper bag. I love the new grab handle on the Ryla pack. Just another reason to love this bag. If you have any questions about Ryla, please leave them in the comments below. I'll be sure to link them. As always, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of the future reviews and we will talk to you guys next time.